Hello there. I'm attorney Aiden Kramer with the law office of Aiden H. Kramer in Colorado, and you're watching All Up In Your Business. So in the last two episodes of All Up In Your Business, I addressed a few uh, common questions that I get from you guys about single member LLCs. The first was how to pay yourself as the owner of a single member LLC, and the second was how to contribute money to your LLC. So this episode's going to be kind of a continuation of this uh, viewer question series, and I'm going to address another question that I received recently. I got an email recently from uh, one of my wonderful, lovely viewers that I love so much uh, asking a question and that question was that um, being that I'm in the professional services industry myself what personal tips can I give to other business owners in a similar position so I'm gonna pull back the curtain a little bit in this episode and talk to you guys about what I think are a few really important things to do as a business owner. Since I am a business owner myself and I'm also a business attorney, um, I get to experience owning a business from both sides, from just the owning it sense and from the legal sense. And I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, just two of the really important things that I think go along with owning a business. There are two pieces of advice that I would give to every business owner. These two things are so important and um, they're so important to make sure that you do right in order to accurately and effectively run your business from a legal sense and from just a business sense. The first is to get everything in writing. I can't stress this enough how important it is to get Get any agreement you have in writing, um, agreements with clients, service agreements, contractor agreements, uh, you just you really want to make sure you cover all of those what ifs. I have a lot of clients who I am friends with and uh, who I have personal relationships with and who I see outside of the professional arena and who I love. Um, but just because I love them doesn't mean that I love them enough to not put anything in writing. So even if I'm going to be working with my best friend as a client, I'm still going to have him or her sign uh, an, what I call an engagement letter, which explains my fees and what exactly I'm going to be doing for that person and the terms of our relationship and how it's all going to work. Just in case uh, the S hits the fan, we have something in writing that has already covered that. So even if you feel like, um, you know, I'm friends with this person or this is a really small client or uh, I don't want to deal with getting a contract written up. Um, it's so important to just get everything in writing and you will thank yourself one day when something goes terribly, terribly wrong and you have a beautiful contract to refer back to to solve that problem. The other piece of advice, which is specific to single member LLCs, and I've said this over and over again in all of my videos talking about single member LLCs, is to treat your business as if it is a separate living being separate from you because that's what it is. It's an LLC. It's its whole separate entity and it's not you. And the thing that trips a lot of single member LLC owners up is the fact that it feels so close. Um, any money that comes into the LLC is usually taxed as your money. So you feel like it's all one thing. Um, you may use a lot of your personal equipment, your own personal money to put into the business. So it feels like it's one. You're the only person who's running the show. You're the only person who sees any documents and any transactions. So it makes you feel like you are one in the same with your business, but you're not, you're not. Your business is a separate living being and you have to treat it as that. You have to pretend that you're dealing with a whole outside business that you have no, um, no stake in, no uh, personal influence in. And pretend it's a completely separate business that you're not involved with and that will be the best track for you to get started on. So those are the biggest two suggestions that I can make to any business owner. Um, everything in writing and in a single member LLC, make sure you keep that separateness between you personally and the business. If you do both of those things, in general, you should probably have a pretty successful business. Well, I mean, assuming you're doing something that people want to buy or pay you for. I can't 
make any suggestions about that. If you're doing something crappy, I can't help you. So I don't know if those two suggestions are going to help anybody. Um, hopefully they do. Hopefully uh, it will provide a little bit of guidance to you. If anybody has any other questions, please send them to me. I want all the questions. Send me all the questions. You can email them to me. You can comment below. You can give me a phone call and ask the questions and we can chat about them possibly. If you uh, have any personal questions that you want to talk to me about on a one-to-one -one basis, um, go ahead and give me a call or shoot me an email and I might be able to help you out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful. I'm Aiden Kramer and I'll see you next time.